Hello students, welcome to VFocus classes. I hope you are doing good. In this video lecture, we will see some of the math tricks. So let us directly get into the problems. So there is a problem given like this. If x is equal to 122 and y is equal to 123 and z is equal to 124, then find the value of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. So how to do this problem? So we should be able to solve this problem in maximum of 10 seconds. So how to do that? So if you put on 122 in place of x, 123 in place of y, 124 in place of z, the calculation will become lengthy. Then how to do this problem? So in order to do this problem, I'll tell you, I'll first explain what is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz, then we'll come back to this problem. So what exactly x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz? If you formulate this, this will become x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. This is a lengthy expression which is the formula for x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. So in order to solve the problem, so we need to know what is x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. <coughs> so let us see. So how can we simplify this thing? x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus uh, yz minus zx. So let us see this. So what I try to do is, so if I observe this thing, x square minus xy y square. So I can write this in the form of x minus y whole square. So I'll try to write, I'll try to exp, uh, express this entire thing in from in the form of x minus y whole square. So in order to do that, so I need to have minus 2xy. So here I need to have minus 2xy. So to get 2xy, I multiply this thing with 2. So I multiply this thing with 2. And the same in the same way, yz also I multiply with 2 and zx also I multiply with 2. And in the same way, this expression also I multiply with 2. So it means the entire expression I am multiplying with 2. So at the same time, I am dividing with 2 so that it, it won't change the value of the expression. Then I elaborate this thing that 2x square, 2y square, 2z square minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx divided by 2. Now I have uh, written few things. So as I said, I need to write this in the form of x minus y all square. So x minus y all square is nothing but x square plus y square minus 2xy. Now I have, so x2, this is 2x square. I am writing one x square here and one x square here. I have 2y square. I am writing one y square here and one y square here. 2z square, I am splitting 1z square here and 1z square here. Now what I do is, now uh, what I do is, I, 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 my entire, uh, you know, aim is to write the, this uh, expression in the form of x minus y whole square. So I need to find the suitable terms. What are the suitable terms? x square, y square, 2xy. So here I have x square, here y square, here xy. So this thing I can write it as x minus y whole square. So at the same time, here z square is there, here z square, here x square, here 2zx is there. So this thing I can write as z minus x whole square. So in the same way, remaining terms y square, z square, yz. So this I can write it as y minus z whole square. So entire thing is already divided by 2. So this thing I can write it as, it means x square plus y square plus z square so whatever x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx is there. I can write this in the form of x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square divided by 2. Now what I do this thing I will replace here. So now in the next slide we will see. So what I am doing x cube plus as we have seen x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z is nothing but x plus y plus z into it was like into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus z. This was the thing. Now I am replacing this entire thing with the like whatever we have got uh, in the in the form of expression. That is nothing but x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square divided by 2. 
So I will put this 2 here so that it will become x plus y plus z divided by 2 into x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square. So this thing we need to learn. So once we learn this thing, once we learn this expression, solving this problem will become very easy for us. Then how to do the problem? So this is a problem given to us. What is the problem? x is equal to 122, y is equal to 123, z is equal to 124. So what is this expression? Basically x plus y plus z divided by 2, 122 plus 123 plus 124 divided by 2 and into x minus y whole square 122 minus 123 this is nothing but minus 1 whole square plus y minus z whole square so what is y 123 what is z 124 123 minus 124 minus 1 whole square z minus x whole square z is nothing but 124 x is nothing but 122 so 124 minus 122 that is 2 2 square so this entire thing will become so let us uh, average this thing later first you uh, you know solve this thing this is minus 1 square is 1 plus 1 plus 2 square is nothing but 4 so this entire thing is is becoming 6 now you try to do this thing 122 plus 123 plus 124 don't add up the thing i'll write this how to write this i'll, I'll show you so i'll take 123 same now 122 i can write it as 123 minus 1 okay so 124 I can write it as 123 plus 1 divided by 2. So here plus 1 and minus 1 cancels. So here 1, 123, 2, and another 123 and another 123. It is nothing but 3, 123s. It is nothing but 3, 123s. So simply this is becoming 3, 123s divided by 2. Simply this is becoming 3, 123s divided by 2. So 2, 1s are and 2, 3s are. So it is becoming 3 into 3 is nothing but 9. 9 into 123 will be our answer. So simply friends, so observe one thing. The 122, 123 and 124, these are consecutive terms. So simply if I say these are consecutive terms. When consecutive terms are given, consecutive terms are given. So x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz simply it will become 9 into middle term so this is nothing but 9 into middle term this is how we will solve the problem so in order to explain the things I have done entire things but when consecutive terms are given and you are asked to find out what is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz then you need to simply do 9 into middle term that's it so let us see one more example so the example is given like this so if i give example x is equal to 1001 y is equal to 1002 and z is equal to 1003 and you are asked to find what is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz simply your answer will be as 1001 1002 1003 are consecutive terms so your answer will be 9 into middle term what is the middle term 1002 this is your answer simply you can do the problem in this way let us take one more example so what is one more example here it is given 51 53 55 and you are asked to find out what is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z so 51 53 55 you know the formula that is 51 plus 53 plus 55 by 2 into that is nothing but x plus y plus z by 2 into x minus y 51 minus 53 is nothing but 2 minus 2 whole square and y minus z 53 minus 55 is nothing but minus 2 whole square 55 minus 51 is nothing but 4 whole square so you know that how to solve this thing you take the middle term 53 minus 2 you can write so 51 you can write it as 53 minus 2 middle term is 53 and last term you can write it as 53 plus 2 divided by 2 so minus 2 plus 2 is cancelled so this is nothing but 353 is divided by 2 so same, same, same in the same way we can write 353 divided by 2 into 2 square is 4 2 square is 4 4 square is 16 so 3 into 53 by 2 into 4 plus 4 8 plus 16 it is nothing but 24 2 1s are 2 12s are so so this is nothing but 36 into 3 into 12 is 36 into 53 so simply you can write it as 36 into middle term so when given terms are consecutive terms you wrote it as 9 into middle term 
and when the given terms are you know difference uh, dif uh, when given terms are differed by 2 means if the numbers are given like this 51 53 55 these are with a difference of 2 these are with a difference of 2 then for this thing what is your answer answer would be 36 into simply middle term so this is how you can solve the problem if you remember these things so this will help us in solving the problems in the exam i hope you like the video thank you very much for watching the video thank you so much and please do subscribe we focus classes